Linda, can you hear me? Uh oh. Linda? Oh! Oh! Who are you? The eye. Welcome, players from all dimensions. In tonight's episode of Midnight Scenes, we follow Dr. Richard P. Griffin during the scariest journeys of his life. For Dr. Griffin, things will never be the same again. Turn off the lights and relax. Midnight Scenes will begin after this quick word from our sponsor. <laughs> Support your indie devs. Buy this game for one dollar or more. Get my eternal gratitude. Buy it for five dollars or more. Get the awesome Midnight Scenes 2 PDF art book. There. You know what to do. Okay, so this is Midnight Scenes Episode 2, The Goodbye Notes. So a few weeks ago we played Midnight Scenes Episode 1, The Highway. So we played as a woman who was driving down the highway. Um, she came across she came across a roadblock, was forced to get out of the car, and in the process of trying to remove the debris in front of her, she came across a crime scene, as well as evidence of a boy that had gone missing recently. After we cleared the roadblock, uh, we had a paranormal experience of some kind, and we found a whole bunch of dead scientists. Paranormal experience was possibly had to do with the missing boy, but we're not sure. It left it had a quite open-ended conclusion. Hopefully in one of these Midnight Scenes episodes, it kind of answers a lot more of our questions. Madison, my love! I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. If I had known that our goodbye at the airport was, or was to be our last, I wouldn't have told you everything. I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. I'll be gone for just a few days, Madison. A week at most, I promise. I just don't understand why this work meeting is so pressing. I mean, making you cross the country out of the blue with almost no notice. We were supposed to be visiting Dad at the lake this weekend. You know I would go if it wasn't so important. That gas leak at the lab last night, it's put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing, should I be worried? No, it was only a small accident. Everything's under control. They just need me to do some paperwork. You know how these things are. I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? Alright, goodbye, Richard! Okay, so we're playing as Richard this time. Oh, we're gonna walk over here. There's a flight attendant. Can we explore the... No, okay. Let's talk with the flight attendant and then just... Good evening, sir. May I see your ticket, please? Yes, because that's when they ask you for your ticket when you're already... when you're on the tarmac about to board the plane. Not inside the airport or anything. Yes, uh... <laughs> Where did I put it? <laughs> Richard, here! It fell from your pocket. My love, you've been so distracted all day. Is there something worrying you? Everything's fine, my dear. I have to go now or I'll be late. I love you. Okay, we got our ticket. Give it to the plane host it. Here it is. Maybe you should have checked it while I was still inside. Thank you, sir. <laughs> have a nice flight. Alright, let's get out of here. Tonight's episode, the goodbye note. Do we know where our seat is? Is it way at the back? Or seat 5A? 5A, I'm not sure that's my seat. I should probably check my ticket. Oh. My bad. 5A, okay. Oh, so I was right. Just sit down, Richard. Excuse me, sir. Let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment. No! Leave my suitcase alone! <laughs> no thank you, I'll carry it with me. Sorry, sir, with the regulations. It'll stay with me, thank you. I'll put it underneath the seat, like you're supposed to do anyway. 
Taking this plane was a mistake. I've trapped myself. Yeah, that doesn't look too safe to me. I think he's right. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a thunderstorm and may experience some turbulence. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened. Uh-oh, things are gonna get crazy now, aren't they? You're fine, sir. Oof! Can lightning make the plane explode, Mom? Just try to sleep, dear. Oof! I've actually taken a plane through a storm before. It's pretty cool. It is kind of scary, though. Everybody's gone! What? No, no, no! No, leave me alone! What have you done to all these people? You'll never get the Elysian while I'm alive, you hear me? Never! My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering if the real person you might be wondering the real reason why I got on this plane. You knew I was hiding something. Ugh. It all started last night, in the lab. Just before? Or after? I can't tell if this is a non-linear timeline or not. Sorry it's so late, honey. Uh, I had to review this long checklist before calling it a day, but I'm on my way now. No, I don't think I'll go to Coleman's party now. I don't even have a present for him. And you know, nobody will miss me anyway. Go to bed, I'll be home soon. Hello? Who's there? What was that noise? It came from the control station. Uh oh. Alright, so now we're in the lab. <laughs> it's lab time. Uh oh, he said something and I just skipped it by accident. My ON200 computer, 120,000 instructions per, cent per, per second, can you imagine? What a mess. Oh, is there a do oh, there's a switch over here. Okay, go get the switch, Richard. Oh, I shudder at the mere thought of what we're keeping in there. Ooh! What does that mean? It's Resident Evil. Okay, let's go to this door. Control station. If I knew how to pay attention to signs. <laughs> Hello? Okay, into the control room. What's that? No oh, it's just another scientist. Linda, you scared me to death. I thought you were at Coleman's party with everyone else. Oh, Richard, thank God you're still here. We might have a problem. I think the clean room might be compromised. Uh-oh. What? What happened? Someone left their sandwich in there. <laughs> I was doing maintenance on the main control when I heard noises coming from the roof. Listen. Did you hear? We might have a small animal trapped in the vents. Uh-oh. But that's impossible. The whole area is sealed. Is it, though? I think you have a clock stuck in there rather than a small animal. But do you... Do you think it might be a rat? A bird? Anything from outside sealed in the unit would be enough to contaminate the whole air system and ruin months of research. I better go check the clean room and make sure the Elysian is secure. What is the Elysian? Yes, good idea. We should be able to unlock the clean room doors from this console, but Coleman is the only one who knows how this thing works. Let's take a look. Okay, so I think the missing boy from episode one is the Elysian they're keeping in the clean room, maybe? Because at the end of episode one, we found a bunch of dead scientists on the side of the road, so I wonder if that's some of the scientists from this lab, if not like Richard and Linda here. We need to use the correct combination of keys in order to enable the console. Well, I don't know what that is. 
I know Coleman keeps a list of codes somewhere. I'll wait here. You go find it. Please hurry up. Okay, so we don't know what that is. Let's go. Ooh! Nothing looks out of place from here. I better go inside and take a look. Oh, okay, so we can't go in the the we can't go in the clean room. Let's go to Coleman's desk. Here we go. Oh my god, it is a disgusting mess. I'm sure everyone's having a great time at the party. I'm probably the only guy who'd rather spend the night working than attending any kind of social event. Okay, keyboard's on. Or computer's on now. Welcome, Dr. Coleman. How can I help you? Experiment zero files or games? <laughs> uh, classified content. Error 2109E. Security clearance denied. Oh, okay. Games. Shall we play a game? Yes. Sorry, games have been disabled by your administrator. <laughs> oh my. Okay, not in the computer. In the drawer, there's this notebook. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think if we look at... Okay, let's go look at this. Okay, um... Hang on, I think I know what to do here. Okay, so... <laughs> Linda, get off my back! Okay, so if we walk over here, so it's October 19th, so I'm thinking maybe we have to look at the code next to 10. Linda! I won't tell you again. Okay, so I think it's R-D-L-U... R-D-U-L. Let's try that. Oh, never mind. That's not what I wanted. Wrong code, we should check Coleman's code list to get the right one. Oh! I see. Right, down, up, left. That's what that means. Right, down, up, left. Right, down, up, left. Done! Really impressive, Richard. See how much we can get done when you leave me alone? <laughs> okay, the doors are open. I'm going in. Uh, all right, he won't look. Th Why won't he just look through the window? Let us see what you see. Okay, to the clean room. To put on our clean suit. I know it's a restricted access, but if you need any help hunting rats, I'm sure I can fit into one of those suits. I don't think the regulations. Just kidding. I know you have a phobia when it comes to breaking rules. I'll be watching from the control station. Okay. It's clean suit time. Oh, he's fast. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, here we go. I turned on the comm system. Shout if you need anything. Hey, Linda, could you increase the temperature a bit? It's freezing in here. I want it. Much better, thanks. <laughs> Hi, Linda. <laughs> you finding your rat yet? Secure compartment. That's where we keep the Elysian. Oh, there's the vent. I'm not hearing those noises anymore. Whatever it was, it's probably gone now. Are you sure? I'm not seeing anything that raises cause for concern. But just to be safe, I'll ask the maintenance team to replace the filters tomorrow. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so he's not hearing anything. Oh, what's this box? I better leave this alone. I wouldn't want to break the refrigeration system. I can't see Linda in the control station. Uh-oh. What Linda do now? Okay, I think we can officially declare this a false alarm. Everything looks normal here. Linda, I'm done here. You can open the door. Uh-oh. I think you should check the Elysian. Make sure it's intact. 
I don't think that's really necessary. Everything's fine. Besides, I'd rather not open that secure compartment if it's unless if it's not absolutely crucial. You know how much that thing creeps me out. Richard, I'd do it for you, but you're the only person with fingerprint access. We both heard noises. We don't want any surprises. Ugh, fine. Alright. Now we get to see what the Elysian is. Oh, it's a... It's a mysterious pyramid. The Elysian. The reason behind all the secrecy surrounding my job at the lab and many sleepless nights. It was found in the Antarctica a month ago, and all of our studies have been inconclusive so far. It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. Its creators finally found it, and they want it back. Everything okay in there? No signs of contamination, as far as I can see. Oh, we can't interact with it. So it's some kind of alien artifact. Oh no! They found us! What's happening? Linda? Uh oh. Linda gone? Oh. Linda, can you hear me? Uh oh. Linda, what have you done with her? Yikes. What do you want? You came for this thing, right? What is it? What are you going to do with it? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no, Richard! The temperature is dropping. That thing wants to freeze me. Wants me to freeze to death. The suit won't keep me warm for a few minutes, but I won't hold out for long. The suit, the suit will keep me warm for a few minutes, but I won't hold for long. I gotta do something quick. I was terrified, blinded by fear. That creature tricked us into opening the secure compartment to get to the Elysian. With Linda most likely dead, I felt the fate of all humankind weighing on my shoulders. So in the end, I did the only thing I could do, even if it was ultimately foolhardy and pointless. I found the strength somewhere inside to escape the lab with the Elysian and run. Yikes! Okay, take that fucking crazy thing. You mess with the... The sensor control for the refrigeration system. I need to find the way to disable it before I freeze to death. It's at 90... It's at minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. I feel like he would be dead already. Okay, cut the red wire, cut the blue wire. <laughs> Detaching the cables didn't do anything. I need to find a way to break the short circuit to the refrigeration system. I could try the short circuit by joining both the cables, but they are too short. I need something conductive to connect them. Oh, okay. We only use insulated screwdrivers in the lab. I need something conductive if I want to short circuit the refrigeration system. Shoot! Okay, we have to find something else. There we go. Try this. This screw should be conductive and it's long enough to connect both the cables. Yeah! Oh, what a smarty pants. Mr. Smarty Pants Scientist. Let's get out of here. Ooh, what is that? What is that? What's this? Oh, it's a little robot. So you're the one who was making all the racket in here. You're not a rat after all. But why the hell were you thrown into the vents? Oh, weird. It's just a little broken robot. Alright. You can do it, Richard. You're gonna get out of here. You're going to live. 
Uh oh. Damn. Oh, this spooky music. I should take the suit off. I can barely move. But first, I need to find somewhere safe to put the Alicia in. I'm not touching it with my bare hands. Okay, where are we gonna put it? There's a suitcase. Ah, lead coated suitcases. They're perfect for carrying dangerous material safely. At least for a few hours. Right, put that crazy thing in there. Lock it up. Throw it in the lake. All right, let's get going. Richard needs to get home to his wife. Oh, we're gonna steal Linda's car, I guess. What the hell happened here? Oh my! Those are Linda's glasses! There's some giant claw marks on the passenger seat. All right. Oh, okay, I guess we're not stealing Linda's car. Okay, let's just get in Richard's car. I spent the night in a motel. I didn't dare risk going back home and exposing you to this nightmare. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in the lab. That would keep me busy all night. My superior in Washington told me to take the plane and bring the Alicia in to our headquarters. He thought it would be safe there. Oh, we're back to the plane. <laughs> but in the end, it was all for nothing. I was trapped inside this airplane. I had to find a way to avoid the Elysian falling into that creature's hands. There's the crack of lightning. Where's the pilot? Did the pilot get abducted too? Come on, you want the Elysian? Then come and get it. You'll have to kill me like you did Linda and all the passengers on this plane. Okay, we got an umbrella. What do we do with the umbrella? We can't allow the Elysian to fall into that creature's hand. I need to find a way to get out of this plane. The radio! I can hear the radio! I need to get in there and call for help. Locked. There we go. Cabinet. Oh, we've got an extinguisher. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Okay, what if we break the window? There we go. Oh, and we use the umbrella to unlock the door. There we go. That's using the old noggin. Okay, so yeah, indeed the pilot and co-pilot are gone as well. My god, it's flying on its own. That creature must be controlling it somehow. Oh, there we got our parachute. That's it. Plane instruments. Hello, is anybody there? I need help. Hello? Damn, it's broken. Okay, can't radio for help. We're just gonna have to... We're gonna have to jump. Yeah, can't leave without the Elysian. Probably should grab that. <laughs> what if he goes out there and the alien gets him? Oof! Yikes. What? What happened? It just says outside. Oh my gosh. I bet he's in the Antarctic where they found the Elysian. Oof. You know there's stairs. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's what you want! Just come and get it! 
Come on, do what you have to do. I don't care. I can't do this anymore. I guess this is how it ends. Oh, this is such a tragic story. This is quite a... Quite different from the first one. Madison, my love, oh, and this is when he starts writing the letter. I don't know how to explain all of this in just a few words. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. I thought I would be safe by now. What? Linda? Linda? Oh my god, your face! Hello, Richard! I was such a fool. It was you from the beginning. Oh my god, Linda was the monster! Please, I beg of you. Just tell me what that thing is. I need to know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? It's been our eyes and ears here on Earth for more than a century now. Until you locked it in that stupid sealed room blocking its transmission. Now that it's working again, you'll have some really interesting neighbors very soon. No! Oh my. Here they come. No! Please, Linda! Cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now. Oh my. Uh-oh. You're taking Richard away. Sorry, what? Are you okay? It's the third time I've asked you if you want- This is it! Honey, on your cereal. Is something wrong? I'm fine. Don't- In fact, I'm feeling great this morning. Quite energized. And I dare say- Happy. Uh-oh. What did they do to him? Oh, well, he's home with his wife now. I think today will be a great day. Oh my. What does it mean? Midnight scenes, the goodbye note. Oof! God, that was a crazy one. Not a lot of, um, obvious kind of ties between episode 2 and episode 1, except maybe the scientist, but that wasn't confirmed. Yeah, as far as I know, uh, episode 3 is not yet available, um, but I will definitely keep an eye on Octavi Navarro's, uh, progress, and as soon as we can play mid uh, Midnight Scenes in episode 3, we will do that right away. Uh, if you'd like to play Midnight Scenes Episode 1 or 2 yourself, link in the description below for that. Uh, until next time, don't get scared without me. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon. <gasps> Ew, our head actually, like, turns around! You're more disgusting than me, and I'm licking your eyeball. Why do they run from you? You're such a special boy, and today is your birthday. Not today, Satan. Destroy your face. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you.